My name is Brian Floriani, and I am the founder and chief advancement officer at Bernie's Book Bank. Bernie's Book Bank is a nonprofit. Uh, it's very specific what we do. We uh, source, process, and distribute children's books for at-risk children living in Chicagoland with the goal to create a model that we replicate in every major city in the country. And we're really here to solve one problem, and that's the fact that 61% of low-income children and families in America have zero books in their home. Um, the bigger why is that we want to make sure that every child in America has the ability to read their way to a better life and really uh, realize in a meaningful way the ideals of America. So the way that we get by into our why, I mean, I think this is critical. I think this has been a big piece of our success, and that is, you know, we, we need to approach relationships with, which um, are the most important things, right? We need, to, we need to approach those relationships where instead of being your charity, we need to be your partner, not your charity. And that could mean from a personal perspective, a professional perspective, or both. And um, now that was hard to do in the beginning because we for sure need a month, right? We still need money today. But I knew that we needed to take a long view. And I knew that if you were gonna, if you were gonna, yeah, there's people who are gonna buy into the why. But to be an investor, meaning financially, from a time perspective, from a talent perspective, from a book perspective, we need to fill your bucket just as much as you fill ours. And so we've worked really hard um, to understand, you know, as of maybe it's you as personally or your family, you know, what are you missing? How can we fill that need for you? Or as a business or a corporation, what are your goals and objectives and dreams and how do you cultivate and steward relationships and how can Bernie's Book Bank actually be a strategic partner, not a charitable partner who just keeps their hands out? Because one of the things that we need is a nonprofit. You know, we're running businesses where our productivity is not directly related to our revenue which is a really hard, hard way to run a business. But what you need there is predictability. And the only way you're gonna have predictability is to be in a meaningful relationship, whether it's on a personal level or a professional level or both. I, I think service in general is on the rise. You know, I don't know why it took us so long to understand why it'd be great for a middle schooler to be required to do service, right? Um, but from a corporate social responsibility um, standpoint, you know, a lot of people are surprised to know that only 5% of philanthropic giving comes from corporations. Which at first you're like, geez, these greedy corporations. But it makes a lot of sense. They're in business to make money. Um, but the whole move towards corporate social responsibility is, is uh, real. And what's interesting from a Bernie's Book Bank perspective is that the demand for meaningful, impactful engagement opportunities is up. Frankly, the supply, meaning is it easy to engage? Uh, what does that require? How much time does it require? The supply is actually too low. So we kind of caught lightning in a, bo in a bottle from a Bernie's Book Bank perspective that way. Um, and that's why we, we do 6,000 volunteer hours a month there. But we really could do more and we want to do more and um, I think that if you talk to the companies that work with us they find huge value in what they do with us. We did something two years in as a nonprofit and probably at most, or most organizations that don't do and we actually did a branding exercise um, two years into a nonprofit right which many people thought well why would you do that but see we wanted to operate like a business right and we wanted to think like a brand so, and we wanted to be able to communicate it, so how else do you do it? So we did that, but what we're doing right now is what, what I think every organization should do every five to seven years, and that's have re-look at it. Like, okay, does this still make sense? Is our why still the same? Our why is certainly still the same, but how do we communicate it? Now, the biggest challenge, how do you communicate your why on a video, on a flat sheet of paper? Uh, how do you communicate your why through a website? You know, when I get up and speak in front of people, um, I can read them. Right, um, I know who I'm talking to for the most part. Um, I can take follow-up questions. Um, I can provide certain context. Um, but when it's on a flat sheet of paper, when it's on a website, you know, so it's a it, that's an art form in itself because I think the why, our why, has to engender some injustice. It has to engender some urgency, you know, some emotion. Um, and it's really important for me to make sure that our why stays the same, right?
And I think that my approach and a lot of other people's approach to get us to here to this day has been really simple. It's not, our why is not distributing books. Our why really isn't about literacy. Our why is about opportunity and equity. And how do you communicate that in the different, in the different ways, especially today, there's a million different ways to communicate with people. So it's actually an exercise we're going through right now, which, and it's, and it's, it's fascinating. Mm-hmm.